Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, we must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate, a guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this, talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling, the president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa and why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Follow orders, Trigger. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Patrol, would you kindly send me up first? Spare eight. Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff, watch out for spare aid. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Too shit. Trigger your call sign as spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. <laughs> My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. If he makes it back, right, when you land your ass, champ's gonna ass. survive? Anyone wanna bet on it? No one's gonna take that bet. Spare 15. Takeoff confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. <laughs> Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah! This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. <laughs> You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft in the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? I know. Look at them, blowing up a bunch of paper planes. The enemy seems to think 
our Air Force is concentrated on this base. Everything on the ground is fake. Can't the enemy see that? <laughs> Means are that convincing. Yes, the enemy just hit the control tower. Hey, what's with all the shaking? Hey, smoke! Not let the enemy get closer. Are you trying to kill me? Shall I order them to shoot down all? Commander. Commander McKenzie? Damn it! Spare squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're clear to engage. Show no mercy. Be done by now. I have to rethink the odds. Wanna bet which one of us gets the first kill trigger? This is the peace. The count's going forward. I decide when you die. All right, I'm assuming command. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your line to? I'll show you all how it's done. Spare 15, bandit splashed. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. You can be fair later. <laughs> yeah, I'm betting that report will get dressed up real pretty. Online. Radar pinged. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. Righto. A bomber's at high altitude. Stop watching your own asses and look up. Head to the next target. Allow me to educate you. In this unit, you get your tail marked with scratches. The more scratches, the more heinous the crime. They're called sin lines. You have three scratches, right, Trigger? Well, you are Harley's murderer. Oh, 
At least you're down. Careful with the aircraft next time. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget.